Hey guys, this is Lego Champ 561 and today we have a Marvel X-Men set. Now this is set number 6866. It is Wolverine's Chopper Showdown and it comes with 201 pieces and it comes with three minifigures and I got this at Target for $20 and I decided to get this one because they didn't really announce like any new X-Men sets for 2013 to like beginning in 2014 so I decided to get it because I wanted to have the only X-Men set that ever came out because I didn't want it to not have it and it'd be retired so let's get on with the review like always in every superheroes set you do get a comic book and these ones kind of just show you some other sets. Then you, they just put all the Marvel sets into one comic book. So here you just have the Captain America one. Then you have your kind of checklist of the minifigures. And you kind of have the set first. You know. And then you have this Lego club thing at the end with the Avengers. And then you just have the back with the superheroes. Now here is your instruction booklet. It is kind of big. I think this one had number bags. I can't really remember, but I'm pretty sure it did. But this only has 40 steps, so it's not that big. It's not that thick. And then let's look at your minifigures. First we have Magneto. He has a purple cape. He's ripped like all superheroes. He's got a nice helmet. He's got some gray hair because he's kind of old. And you got kind of like a necklace on him. And then... He does have a double-sided head. He's just kind of determined in this one, like mad in this one. And he does have some back printing. But I do like his helmet. I think it is a pretty cool piece. And then he comes on a brick. Because Magneto has a plate that makes him fly, so they decided to add this to him. Because it's the only way he can fly. If he didn't have it, he could not fly. Now let's look at Deadpool. He is a pretty cool minifigure. He's got his gun. He's also got his two swords in the back. He's ripped too. He's got kind of like... I don't know, like ammo or something or on his leg. And he's got utility belt, some nice black on him, black arms, red hands. And he's got kind of like a mask on him. And here he has a sword, which are being held by like a sword holder. And I'll show you his back printing. See, he's just got his utility belt going all the way around. Some more buffness. So that's Deadpool. Now let's look at Wolverine. You're a good guy. Now this is Wolverine. He does have his claws, which are his hands hold them. See, he... You have this kind of like piece to have him be held by him. And he's got a nice yellow kind of suit. He's, he's ripped too. You kind of got some nice blue stripes, a little belt. And he's got no sleeves on him. In the back, you kind of have like his face kind of on the back of his uniform. And he has double-sided face. He has an angry face. And then a kind of like 
mad face. Then he's got kind of like vampire hair piece. So now let's look at his bike. It's just kind of a normal bike. And then you can put him on it, but if you want him to keep his claws on it, he can't really hold on. But if you wanted to take him off, you could just put him in the back here and he can just hold on to it. But I think he looks better when he actually has him on. And he's just not holding on to the bike. Like this. And let's look at Deadpool's chopper. Now, he does have to have the swords come off him. But you do have a spot right here next to your flick missiles for him to put the swords. Kind of like decoration. And then there's that on each side. You just put his swords in there. And then the top here just opens up and he fits in, but he doesn't really have that much space. So it can be hard to get him in here. I like to take the front off so I can kind of fit him in here. And I do put his gun in with him because that's what the book tells you to do. And if you didn't, you didn't really have any other place to put his gun. Then you do have some flick missiles which can move up and down. And what I like about these is kind of got like a silver looking instead of gray colors. So I do think that is a cool little piece right there. Not the flick missile itself. I'm kind of used to flick missiles by now. You all should be. And you got spinning blade. And you can kind of hold it like right here. You still want it to fly or underneath it. You do get some nice little blades back here. A wing. You do have a space for a minifigure to sit. But you would have to take the top off to get them to fit in. They can't really stand because they're too tall. So you can just have a minifigure sit in there. Like that. And you do have piece, like kind of like a wing right here for the wheels. You have it on each side. And then you do have six wheels. Because it's a helicopter, they have a lot of wheels. And it can move pretty well. And then you have Deadpool in here. You do have a little control kind of right there. And this piece is mainly holds on by the windshield and that kind of beige piece right there. So this is a pretty cool chopper. I do like it. And this is Deadpool's chopper. And this is not the chopper that was in the movie. Deadpool didn't have a chopper, so they kind of just made this one. So thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later.